Item 7B to 7-8. And I would like to introduce my boss, Supervisor John Benoit, to start it off. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you very much, members of the council. I appreciate the opportunity and the uh, consideration. Uh, just to arrive from uh, uh, Riverside, where I was uh, chairing the Riverside County Transportation Commission today. Uh, but uh, I was getting constant updates about the situation here in Mecca. I was here last night toward the uh, Duraville, toward the uh, and Anthony drove the streets of Mecca and walked through the Boys and Girls Club. And uh, we last night uh, had a brief meeting with the fire chief. Uh, uh, there is uh, Hawkins had, had uh, set up a meeting this morning, but I know it occurred at the uh, Desert Mirage High School, I believe. Yes, sir. And, uh, and, uh, and I want you to come down and reassure you that the county is doing everything it can to try and help the people cope with this extremely uh, strong rainstorm and the resulting flooding that occurred. Uh, I'm pleased to say that driving around Mecca, it, it looked considerably different than it did three or four years ago when I drove through Mecca. Many of the streets, uh, uh, you know, it's not perfect, but it's a whole lot better than it was. And, and well, it, until it got to the point where it was higher than the gutters, it was running down the street. And pretty soon it went back to running down the street. We'll have those streets cleaned and, and we'll be back. And for the most part, the kids are walking on sidewalks or the asphalt's up there. And uh, that's much better than it was. As you all know, I'd like to see all of the streets of Mecca paved, but the money we were using to do that was part of what Jerry Brown thought the state needed worse than we did and took away. We're looking for ways to finish that work in Mecca. Uh, we are working on the uh, roundabout, which will be delayed a week or two, I'm told, as a result of the flooding in that area. Although I, I drove by yesterday and the water was a lot higher, it's gone down quite a bit uh, in just 24 hours. So hopefully, you know, this storm is a little uh, late in the season. We you know, normally don't see these in the September. Normally August is the likeliest time, but, you know, the weather changes. And so we, we had a, a, a very serious event that uh, uh, we're looking at trying to mitigate wherever we can any human uh, threats to human safety or, 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 or uh, 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 and property of it too if we can. Uh, we, we do have uh, some significant issues in Mecca. We have more significant issues in a number of Polanco and other trailer parks in the Oasis Thermal area. Uh, we have uh, I think still at least one pump down at Duraville. At one point they had no uh, wells working at all, and there's still approximately 180 residences in Duraville. Uh, St. Anthony's has severe flooding, uh, and, and many, many of the other parks have had egress uh, and blocked and in some cases water very deep. I don't think we had many that was into the homes, but there was serious flooding uh, preventing kids from getting to school, people getting in and out. Uh, you know, the county would like to wave a wand and make all that go away, but many of these were built without a county being involved or on lands that there's no way to avoid flooding when it rains this heavily that quickly. Uh, John, what was it? What the inches per hour there? What did we have? The Coachella Water District indicates five inches in six hours. The record was 1939, six and a half inches in six in six hours. Yeah, so it, was, yeah. it was a nearly a record rainfall. Uh, hopefully, it won't happen again tonight. <laughs> if there's any indication, it'll probably be many years before we see that much rain again in that six-hour window. Uh, so we, we recognize that uh, this is kind of an anomaly, but but then. In, we have to be prepared to deal with anomalies. And I'm very proud that the fire department was out there by 6 a.m. They had 15 or some units out in the, in the field in this area. Uh, our Office of Emergency Services uh, started activating at 7 o'clock uh, in the morning. Uh, I know that the CHP was out uh, early yesterday and, and involved all day. Uh, we've got uh, about seven or eight or nine county agencies that were in support of all the activities going on. And like in any situation, we have that many different agencies responding and that many people involved. Uh, there are going to be things you'll look back on and say, gee, if, if I'd known this, I would have done a little differently, done a little better. And we will have those kinds of discussions probably in a week or two when we get together and do a critical critique of what's going on. We had a meeting this morning that uh, occurred at the high school where our primary goal was to explain what we've done to try and meet this contingency and to explain to people what steps they need to take to try and get through the remainder. And we still have problems with, with potential infections and uh, dangers to health, particularly related to the water uh, that's standing in many places. Uh, admittedly, going down 
significantly in 24 hours and will continue to go down. But, but for instance, where we've had wells that were overrun and water was going down the well hole from the outside, and in some cases, maybe mixed with, uh, with sewer and other uh, things on the ground, uh, uh, pesticides, who knows, you can't use that water for potable purposes until we've had enough time to run the well for a while and test it. In the case of the uh, properties that are not federal land, they'll be done by Riverside County Health, and I know there's some here, Health Department, uh, going to talk a little bit about that, thank you. Uh, and, and we have the federal, the EPA has been on site in Duraville uh, performing that kind of testing, and we'll be performing that kind of testing until we get to the point where we're sure the water is safe again. In the meantime, uh, we've got the fire department and others that have been delivering potable water uh, to, uh, to uh, not only Duraville, but other places where there's a problem with well sites. And, and so these kinds of efforts are what these guys do. Uh, and I think, you know, it, it, it's been a, a terrific response from, from all of these guys. I'd like to suggest we get a round of applause for these guys. You know, I was unable to be here this morning because I'm the chairman of the Riverside County Transportation Commission and then we were meeting at 9.30 this morning in Riverside. I was there for that. Uh, and that was after being out here last night and I'm, I'm afraid to say I'm not going to be able to stay for the entire meeting tonight. But I wanted to come down and personally reassure you that what we can do, what we are trained to do, what we uh, try to do, uh, we, we've done. And we're going to continue to do over the next week or two or whatever time it takes to try and get things back to a sense of the uh, you all know Letitia Delara from my office. She was there this morning at the, at the meeting, uh, as well as uh, other members of my staff. Uh, she will be available if we have any other concerns, memory problems, uh, questions that go unanswered. Uh, not only tonight, but in, in the next few weeks as we try to get back to a state of normalcy. When I leave, I think that you guys are going to 